Have you ever heard of Timu? Well, it's this crazy website Daniela just showed me and they apparently have a bunch of products at ridiculously low prices. Now, I literally don't know how they can make a profit on any of this stuff. So I'm gonna order a bunch of their stuff. I'm gonna check it out, see if they're any good and then I'm gonna let you guys know. Now guys, Timu has ongoing discounts of up to 90% off and free shipping. Now if that's not enough, I also have a code that you can plug in and it's gonna give you additional perks. Make sure you click on the link in the description today right now so you can start saving on all your reptile products you're gonna need them you keep reptiles so click there right now and download the app all right so last week I'm gonna get this team of stuff first but last week we had a little incident with a package that got delayed and it was actually delayed for like five days or six days so I'm hoping the little gecko is good it just happened to get here the same day as the Timu stuff. We're gonna open up this first. So stick around and I'll have uh, Daniela tell you this story. It's pretty upsetting. Look what just came in. Is that the car Yeah. Shut up, is it alive? I don't know. Oh, you're in a- Are you filming? <laughs> yeah, I'm filming. I just happened to be filming for the Timu and I saw the box out there, so. You can't put that on camera. Get dressed. <laughs> don't put this on camera. Get dressed. This poor thing has been in transit for over a week now. Let's see how good Tiki's Gecko's packaging really is. Oh man, don't say oh, that. Okay. <laughs> how long has it been in transit? It's been a week. We shipped it out on Wednesday last week. Yeah, so apparently the UPS customer center decided not to take it. They decided to send it back and they lost they, it. then they lost it. So I'm just hoping that this little dude is okay. Obviously, the heat pack is not warm anymore. Um, it's alive. Shut up. Yep. Shut up. Yep. I get a little gecko. Oh my god. Probably gosh. hungry as all could be. And thirsty. Yeah, so we're gonna get this little dude uh, some water. We're gonna get him food. <laughs> Um, I know honestly like these guys are so resilient and people worry so much about the packaging and all that But I tell you we know what we're doing. She's literally in her bath towel right now because we just had to open it real quick, but um, All right, I'm gonna get this guy some food We're gonna get this set up and now I'm gonna do the Timu video and I'm gonna show you guys what is going on with Timu He's never shipping out again. He's our yeah, he's, <laughs> right. That's it. All right, so we're going to rehydrate this little one for a couple minutes. Basically, I just put him in some shallow water, sprayed him down, let him drink a little bit. That's like the most important thing. You will see that when gargoyles or cresteds or any other gecko get really stressed or very dehydrated, their tail will actually zigzag a little bit. You can see that there. And it will make, you know, they'll kind of get wiggly, but... Um, this little dude will be fine now. We'll get some food in him after this. I'm gonna leave him here for a couple minutes, then we'll go come back and check up on him. Okay, so explain what happened. With that package? Yeah. Okay, so literally we shipped out the package Wednesday of last week for a Thursday arrival to a UPS hub in the Bronx. Shout out the Bronx, because we apparently have had issues with shipping to New York, let alone the Bronx area lately. And um, the customer made me aware the following day while David and I were on our way to California uh, in transit and stuff that the hub re uh, refused the package, which we've only seen that one other time, but that was directly to somebody's doorstep due to miscommunication. And I didn't know hubs could do that. So since Thursday and in transit to California and in California while we were there, we were dealing with this we package. We were at the Reptile Super Show. We were at Pomona, the Reptile Super Show, and just calling, harassing, blowing up UPS, all representatives, just to figure out what was going on with this package. They gave us a bunch of excuses, and then they flat out told us that they lost the package. Then they so told us... So we shipped it on... Wednesday, yeah, and today is Thursday so, of next week. So the the week little guy has been in days. transit for about a week, a eight little days. bit over a week. Yeah, yeah, it's it's insane. I not to be that person. I really didn't think it was gonna be a good outcome. Yeah, I didn't well, think it was gonna be okay. That's why we pack them the way we do. <laughs> um, we're rehydrating the little one right now, and then we'll give a little update on it. That was incredible. That 
I'm stunned. I'm happy. Happy ending. And the customer was super understanding. He knows it was not our fault. It was a complete mishap on the postal service. And we actually shipped him out a replacement gecko yesterday that arrived today safely um, without any issues. So everybody is happy. We're happy. Cool. Hey, you heard? What? The gecko made it back on Nah. Our... Yeah, for real. No, there's no way. Let me, got it. let me check it out. It's in the gecko room. An ice cube? <laughs> <laughs> no, I had a heat pack that was dead. All right, I'll see you later, man. All right, bye. <laughs> All right, let's see what team was sent us. Now, I did order a couple things for me personally, not the geckos or reptiles. So I'm not gonna, I'll put those aside. But this is the first uh, vine. I ordered a couple, but this is the first one here. Looks like pretty standard. You know, some of the vines that, um, we get from the reptile shop. Here's some a couple pieces of wood. Uh, the coconut hot. Oh, these are actually bigger than I thought they would be. All this kind of stuff is, you know, things you need when you keep reptiles, especially at our level. And all of these things were like, oh my god, I can't even tell you. It was maybe like, hundred bucks for all this stuff. And that includes some of the personal stuff that I got. So it's super cheap. Bunch of little dishes, these are gonna come in handy. This is another vine, bunch of little boxes. What, what's this? I, I even forgot what I ordered, honestly. Uh, oh, another branch. This is one of those branches that you stick to the glass. So this should come in handy. Trash, more trash. Another water dish. Oh, I thought this was interesting. These are like little scissors that you could use to like basically pick up like mealworms or crickets and you don't have to get your hands dirty. So this is super cool for those of you that uh, you know don't want to get your hands dirty you could pick up the crickets just like this and then release them into the enclosure. So this is going to come in handy. Trash. Bunch of vines and decorations, fake plants and stuff that I ordered. All this stuff is super cheap. I got this ZooMed wipeout which is basically just like a disinfected. Yeah, they do sell some Zoomit products on there, which is awesome. Now these enclosures are actually perfect for like New Caledonian geckos or even leopard geckos or things like that when you are breeding. This is a very, very good alternative because it's very affordable and they stack on top of each other. I actually already have some of these, but it's good to see that team who offers them and it's easy, you could just open up here, change the food if you need to. Light, you know, easy to clean. This is the type of stuff that, this is like what breeders use to keep their geckos. Looks like that's it guys. So actually, now that I think about it, this would make a good enclosure for that little baby gargle that we just got back. So I'm gonna set it up with using some of this stuff and we're gonna get that little gargle uh, home and it's gonna stay here for a while. I'm just gonna make sure that it is well acclimated, it grows, it puts some weight on, and then maybe one of you guys will get it in the future. So let's go and put all this stuff to good use. All right, so let's set up the cage for that little dude first. I'm going to just fold some paper towel and use that as substrate. The reason being, when I first got a gecko, I always recommend people to use paper towels so you can see if the gecko is pooping and all that good stuff. Next, I'm gonna put this little, uh, suction cup branch here on the side make sure it's sturdy there you go food dish and a little water dish now this might be a little bit big for this gecko in particular but it's all right Let's see how i'll put this maybe i'll put this here like that i could use one of these hides for the gecko that works and i'm not gonna over complicate the enclosure i'm just gonna use Maybe one of these uh, smaller plants over here. Oh, this is perfect. Okay, so this is perfect. I'll just use that to give, you know, plenty of, you know, visual barriers and to make sure the gecko feels safe. After such a long trip, you're gonna want the gecko to start eating right away. So any big open space is gonna scare the gecko. So this is actually a perfect setup for a little crested gecko, a little gargle gecko, lychee, or any arboreal tiny gecko. Since they do not need any lights, this lid is perfect because it's gonna help trap the humidity in here very well. Now I will give you guys a little piece of advice. 
if you have an enclosure like this, you're not gonna spray this every single day. I might spray this on the side once a week and make sure that it has a full water bowl, but I'm not gonna spray it any more than that. Let's bring our little gecko and introduce him to his new home. Now, I typically do not advocate for hand feeding just because the geckos don't need it and a lot of people just get too fixated on wanting to hand feed their gecko and making sure they're eating every single day. What I tell people is that most of the time, you know, these little ones are not gonna eat right in front of you. In this case, since the gecko has literally been without food for over a week, I'm gonna put some food on my finger and I'm going to try and hand feed it. So let's see if I can get this. And it's eating. Probably very hungry. Imagine going one week without food. Okay, well, looks like he's had enough for now. I'm gonna put him in his enclosure and leave him alone. Best thing you could do when you get a new gecko, especially after it's been shipped, just leave it alone and let it acclimate on its own. I'm not gonna hand feed it from here on out. This little guy will be able to eat on its own, but uh, just wanted to give it little bit of food just to start off make sure he's all right all right gonna take this dude to the gecko house and then gonna see where we could use all the other stuff all right so as you can see this enclosure is kind of lackluster so we're gonna give them a little upgrade. All right, so substrate, mulch, 12 by 18 by 18. So not the tallest, but they're two little uh, Cuban night and all babies. Anolis Portior, the blue beauty anoles. The f is this? What? Okay, so that is for you, my friend. That's for you to not get your hands dirty anymore with the crickets. Oh, you can just scoop yes. them up. Mm. and throw them in there. You gotta work on that motion. First thing, I like to put the bowls in the front so it's easy for me to fill it up and clean it and take it out whenever I need to. Next, where are these vines at? I might have to spit on these. There you go, see? A little spit never hurt. Yeah, it looks pretty. Thanks, Timo. All right. Like they're gonna drink that. Not bad for a total of like 20 bucks. Take them out so you upgrade. can see them. They're quick little buggers. Yeah, there's one on top right I there. What's up, buddy? Oh, fine. He's gonna bite the that's fine. <laughs> oh, it did. <laughs> so the males have a cleaner body than the females. The females are gonna. What does cleaner mean, man? Just say the females have bands. All right, fine. The females have bands. Jesus Christ. Look at this gee. typical anole behavior. She even got a little fin too. That's pretty cool. Yeah, she has a really cool. So you fin. see those stripes? Stripes and no stripes. All right, let's put them in. It's pretty cool. She got the little finny. Don't bite me. Look at that team. Ow. It bit you? Yeah. That's actually really cool. Oh, okay. Put the other one on the branch. It's gonna turn around and bite your ass. There you go, it's on right here. There you go. Alright, so we're using our little cricket catcher to throw some crickets in there. Go ahead. This is great, especially for those of you who hate touching bugs. Yeah. Look at this. Boom. And I still got clean hands.
guys, that wraps up this video. If you need any of this reptile stuff we showed in this video, make sure you check out Timu. They support us, so please support them. And as always, thanks for watching and check us out on all our other social media. Boom.